Welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, we learned how to convert a Microsoft Access database into a MySQL file. This time, we are going to learn how to make it work as a MySQL database. So for that, you'll need a server. Uh, in my case, I am using WAMP. Uh, I will leave the hyperlink in the video description. And all you have to do is click and choose this option, PHP My Admin. Click Go. All right. So in this left bar, you can see some default databases, uh, but we are creating our own. And for that, you need to click here in Import. All right, browse. And this is the file we have created in the last video. All right, so now here at the bottom, click Go. Okay, and here's our database. As you can see, PHP MyAdmin is a PHP SQL editor. In my opinion, it's not very user-friendly. I prefer to use IDSQL, but that's up to you. Um, so if I click here in, uh, on this table, users, you can see that I already have some data. And if I go to the structure, uh, you can see how it's designed. For instance, uh, the gender has no longer a drop list uh, because it was converted into a varchar, which stands for variable character. We can change it here in PHP Miami. All you have to do is click change and change it to enum. But uh, I prefer to show how to do this in uh, IDSQL. So let's minimize this page and let's click in IDSQL. When the software starts, we need to create a new uh, session. I'm going to call it tutorial, for example. Okay, and leave all the details as they are. Open. Okay, so here's the database and the three tables. To edit it, right click on it and edit. So as you can see here, just like in PHP MyAdmin, it's a Varshaw field. I'm going to change it to Enum. Okay, so it's, now it's Enum. And we are going to change the options to female and male. Okay, let's save it. And now we go to data and and now we have a drop down with two options we have created. Okay. Now let's imagine I want to add another field or come. I just click add. I can click here as file. And as for the data type, I'm going to choose medium blob. So with a medium blob, I can upload files up to 16 uh, megabytes, if I'm not mistaken. Let's save it. And this is the, the new column I have created. I'm going to try to insert value. I'm selecting the table. I need to, by just by clicking the single quote, you get this value. Okay. 
now add and I'm going to browse we will try to upload the, this SQL file okay so we have just placed a file in this column and we can double check in PHP my admin if it's there so let's put the table and as you can see the file is here this is the file we've just uploaded this concludes my video uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment I will try to answer uh, as fast as possible and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much for watching bye